Today we have the remake uh, retro vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Party Wagon Mutant Attack Van. Check out this artwork on the uh, cover. I found it at Walmart. It's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtle Party Wagon Mutant Attack Van, Spring Action Foot Tenderizer Weapon, Anti-Foot Blasters and Wacko Bombs, Sit Six Figures Comfortably. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Heroes in a Hash Shell, Turtle Power. Actually, have a bunch of other of the original. Focus, stupid camera. I have a bunch of the original turtle stuff. And I have, um, I have that turtle stuff in. So it has the same writing on the top, bottom, sides. But on the back here, it has, it has artwork. It has, the box is like, or the exact same original box. The exception of maybe a couple of new things like they got Nickelodeon written on it um, a few other things but I actually have a turtle focus camera Shh. damn cameras won't be goofy anyway uh, I have a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff Finished stuff, newer stuff, random different kinds of stuff. On my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles playlist, which I think it's just TMNT playlist, but if you are a turtle friend, y'all know what TMNT is. Anyway, it says, Turtle Patty Wagon Mutant Attack Van! Spring Action Foot Tenderizer holds a figure. Super Spooler, Foot Finder Radar Blaster, Dual CB Antenna Machine Guns, Black Attack Side Mirrors, Turtle Plated Flip Top, Shell Proof Armored Windshield Visor, Turtle Sewer Lights, Radical Racing ra ra Radials, Gear Mac and Grill, Street Level Bomb Slide, Two Wacko Bombs, Turtle Shell Hubcaps. I don't think the Turtle Van I have, the original Vintage one, is complete. Anyway, it says, Congratulations, you are the, now the proud owner of the most advanced party vehicle ever designed. Yes, Turtle Technology at its best. It's yours. All yours because this attack transport machine means you're in control. Control of the Super Spooler. Nowhere else will you find a radical, super cool Super Spooler that triggers the foot pounding tenderizer. And you're not alone. Michelangelo loves the ride shotgun on the swinging foot tenderizer slide arm. While Raphael wields the wheel at breakneck speed. The party-powered mutant machine turtle plated flip top for easy turtle access and a shell-proof armored winch-proof visor to keep your turtle team fully protected against high-speed bug infection. This turtle troop transport is perfect for street level and subterrane travel. All this control is now in the palm of your crime fighting hands may the ooze be with you yeah they um they always had these like the turtles with their figures and everything always had these interesting ways of um 
implementing other forms of pop culture into their um, show, into their shows, and into their toy lines, and into all that jazz. This was like forty bucks, thirty-five bucks at Walmart. I tried to get them to go down some because well because the box is damaged they only have one left they did not have any of the uh, action figures well they had two of the action figures oh man I'm very disappointed Back when you bought the one back in 1980s, when I was a kid, you had to put the stickers on yourself. They made, they did it for you. How dare they? Anyway, it's supposed to shut. It is supposed to shut. I am going to be upset if this thing doesn't stay shut. It's supposed to shut. Look. It's supposed to stay shut. Okay, there. Got it shut. There. This flips up. Looks like they used cheaper material than the original one. But what do you expect? This modern day stuff. Damn. Damn. Why don't you get me into stuff? Still comes with the you know, info. Damn, what's in my hand? So that fits on top. Here's all the accessories with looks. Honestly, these accessories a little bit they are way lighter weight than the original ones lightweight oh, they went way cheap they went lightweight less plastic than the original ones these accessories are way lightweight and less plastic than the original ones how dare they? But they're more rubbery, so they won't, hopefully they won't break like the original ones. Some of the original stuff was so heavy plastic that it would break. These are like rubbery plastic, so maybe it won't break. Maybe it won't break as bad. So these go here. Here's the first one. This one goes here. There's the second one. These pieces go somewhere on this silly blasted thing. These go here, but you could also put them like this. Not sure where these are supposed to go. They're supposed to not get dropped. Hmm, camera? Not big. 
big enough to fit. Uh, sorry, I got a little small cell phone here, and it's not big enough to hold, show the whole freaking thing. So here's the here's the instructions where you're supposed to put everything. Nothing on the back. Well, that kind of a little bit different from the original one, which I believe I have a video of on my channel and the playlist Damn it, pieces got to do something about this table because stuff likes to fall through the cracks Cool. when you're trying to do a video and stuff falls through the cracks and you're like stuff especially since I don't edit my videos so you see live as it happens when it happens but this kind of you know this being up like that <sighs> I don't like it that because when you're not using this, when it's down like this, you gotta take this off. So I think they should have put like this somewhere else. I really think they should have put this somewhere else. They need like another spot for this or something. They need it, like, here or something. They need it, like, in the middle, like, right here. They need, like, a hole right here and put this thing right, like, on this one. Like, right here in the middle on a hole. I might do that myself. And then, when you open this, the door's supposed to spring, well, it did. Uh, I had to kind of press it to get it to spring. A turtle fits here, but uh, the original one had a, a little strap here. And this one doesn't have a strap, so that... So the turtle's not going to stay in there very good because it doesn't have a strap. Um, these missile bombs are supposed to fit like that. Uh, let's look on the inside here. On the inside, it looks like the turtles can sit. You're going to have two turtles here. They can sit pretty decent. Um... Shame I don't have a turtle figure out. Actually, I do have a turtle figure. I have a vintage turtle figure. Uh, let, let me actually get one and see how it works. I have this guy. He's an extra. He's basically he's a double. Uh, this is a Rappin' Ralph or Michelangelo or somebody. Anyways. I'm trying to use him to show you how the things work because the turtles are sold separately. See, he's supposed to sit in here. But as you can notice, without a strap, 
he's not going to sit in here very good. He doesn't even want to sit because he doesn't have a strap. So, cannot fit him comfortably like it says so without the strap. So, epic fill by not having a strap. And it looks, see, the original one has a strap. The strap helps him stay in. <laughs> okay? So, it looks like they, they messed up again. Again, with these remake things, sometimes they mess up. But, um, he could drive, but again, they don't have a steering wheel here. I believe the original one actually had a steering wheel. So, how are you going to drive without a steering wheel? Now, I know most of the time it's going to be closed like this, so... You ain't going to be really worried about it. But, still. Steering wheel. It's supposed to have a steering wheel. It's a vehicle. You gotta have a steering wheel to steer a vehicle. Logic, common sense people, quit going cheap. Go. You went cheap. I know you're trying to keep the price down low, but golly, you could have sold this thing for $50 if you'd have made it better. And people would have paid for it. They would have paid for it. See how the turtles are supposed to kind of sit in there? sort of kind of comfortably but they really don't that was kind of the problem with the original one too they say comfortably but they don't really fit that comfortably anyway so there's a few pros and cons to this thing like cons would be of course of course you got the cons of of it's not the original and some of the things are way different compared to the original so of course you got those cons Rush. But you're always going to have those cons and the pluros is it's cheaper than trying to find an original so that's in the pro um, some of the pieces are are better quality as in they won't break as easy as the original while other of the pieces are in worse quality so you know you got your pros and you got your cons like anything that they redo and remake or break their lines you've got your pros and of course you got your cons. Anyway, it's a decent figure. I mean, I know they're trying to make figures cheaper for some goofy reason because they don't want to make the premium lines. But then, if you don't find them when they first come out, the scalpers are going to get them. And it doesn't matter whether they made a premium line or not. The scalpers are dragging them up like this figure, like this set I found for almost $40 at Walmart. I guarantee you they're already online. People bought them. Bought them up. That's why I could only find one. Which I was surprised I could find one. The only reason I probably found it was because the box was a little bit damaged. But then you got scalpers who, um, have already bought the the heck out of the things and already probably selling them online for 100 plus dollars I don't know why these corporations like Walmart and Target and whoever else sells toys um, don't limit these things to one per person to s prevent the scalping I mean, they're starting to do that with the, um, the, 
they're starting to limit it to one per person with the uh, certain things like the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and you know the trading cards and stuff right why don't they do it with the Marvel Legends and the action figures and uh, everything else because seriously scalpers are going in there buying them and then posting them on YouTube not, well doing videos of them of YouTube like me but they're posting them on e yeah there's other people who do YouTube videos and of stuff like this but those are collectors like me um, for them but then they got the of course the scalpers that are posting on like eBay and trying to like sell um, trying to sell them for like an arm and a leg you know they're like hundreds of dollars trying to sell them for five times as much or, you know it's not like they're trying to make a reasonable for profit like this thing sold I bought it for like 35 this is like close to $40 um, selling it for like 60 would be making $20 kind of deal right but the scalpers are selling stuff for ridiculous prices like 100 200 300 dollars whatever they can get for them to try to rip those collectors uh, nostalgia people up It's just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, that's a little uh, rant. Sometimes I have these little rants and raves. Another pro is... You can get it back in the box reasonably without having to take too many pieces off. Kind of have to take the uh, wind shield off. You could try, if you wanted to, to put all it back in the box the exact same way it was with the plastic and everything. But I'm not going to try to do all that. Anyway, remember God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I might actually put it back with the way it was with the plastic and everything. Uh, after the video is over. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus God. Jesus Lord. Jesus King. Jesus Ruler. Everything. And uh, party on. Turtle on. And uh. Comment down below your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And, uh, your favorite series of turtles. And all that. And check out my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle playlist. And, um, not much more to say. I had a rant and a rave. Cool. That's cool. I mean, if you couldn't get one when you was a kid, and you don't want to pay vintage jacked up prices just to find a one, this is like probably your next best bet. I mean, as you can see, even if you have your retro vintage action figures, it's still compatible with those because I showed you how the because uh, I used the figure that you could still use them with. Um, it's all good. It's all cool.
said we can actually put it back the way it came. Just for the sake of it. So, all the stuff fit right back right there. Okay. fit like that okay it only fits one way that's why I was trying to so it still kind of fits and the plastic the way it came this piece was kind of like attached taped but you could actually keep I believe you could keep it up there maybe and still might fit. I'm going to uh, see. Okay, it slides back in, but you can't slide that piece back in, so you kind of have to just slide that underneath it, and the instructions kind of underneath it. But still, you can like fold it back and shut it. It's cool. So that's it. Back in box and everything. Um, remember, goes good all the time. All the time goes good. Keep on gaming. Keep on collecting. Turtle on, party on, uh, remember, Jesus loves you, Jesus God, Jesus Lord, Jesus King, Jesus ruler of everything, and have a great wonderful day, uh, turtle for fans, try to, you might get lucky, you might find it in a Walmart, I don't know, uh, but, uh, if anything, you're more likely probably going to find the uh, figures in the van because they probably balled all the fans up. I don't know. Uh, but one toy collector says, be nice and leave one for the next guy. Well, I tried to, I can't because. What they had was the only one. So someone was nice maybe and left one for me. Anyway, have a great day. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a shell. Turtle power. They're their world's most fearsome fighting teens. They're heroes in a shell.